one of the key challenges over the next 50 to 100 years is going to be food supply. I think the Gates Foundation realized that global health depended upon feeding people first. So they turned to sustainable agriculture. They turned to how can we produce more food on the same land? How can we make photosynthesis, which is so key to the production of food, more efficient? And they turned to us. The, the story is a little bit legend, but we think that it's true. And so Steve Long and I had written a review in Annual Reviews of Plant Biology, and it was a review on uh, improving photosynthesis to improve yield in plants. And Bill Gates read uh, that review, and he apparently was particularly taken by a table that we put in the, uh, at the end of the review. Basically, you can't actually apply to them for this type of award. They do their own research and identify the people that they want to talk with. And so we were invited to convene a uh, small meeting at Photosynthesis um, in Seattle at the Foundation headquarters. And we just talked about what we thought the opportunities were. Um, and uh, the audience was uh, the Gates Foundation. And a few months later, they got back to us and they said, we'd like to do a funding initiative in this area. We'd like one proposal. We'd like it from the University of Illinois. And by the way, would you and Steve come out in Se to Seattle and write the proposal? This past year, we were really excited to, uh, to get a grant from the Gates Foundation, a $25 million grant uh, that is coming here to the Institute for Genomic Biology. This grant um, is, is an amazing accomplishment for our faculty, uh, led by Professor Steve Long and Don Ort, and it is going to propel us to the front ranks of research in a very new area, a very important area of biology. Uh, we're facing a situation where we have chronically undernourished or malnourished about a billion people every year. Uh, we're going to add two billion people to that population, uh, maybe two and a half billion people to that population by 2050. So we're going to have to roughly double our food output uh, over those 30 years. The scientists tell us that it's unlikely that we can increase the amount of arable land on the planet by more than about 10 percent. Improvement in crop yields, particularly the major crops that we use, is beginning to stagnate. The methods we used in the Green Revolution to up crop yields are beginning to run out. And so there's a lot of interest now in what else might we be able to improve. And photosynthesis is one thing we haven't really improved in crops in the last 50 years. Uh, University of Illinois has a very long history in excellence research in photosynthesis, and it goes back to the 1940s. And I think it's enormous credit to the University of Illinois that uh, you know, across these departments, we've had the foresight uh, to look down the road, know what the horizons were, and then coordinate these hires uh, across departments to have the kind of breadth that we have. The Gates Foundation didn't pick the University of Illinois by mistake. I mean, um, we still are the premier institution in photosynthesis research in the world. The, so the proof of concept that I'm working on is demonstrating that some of the, the projects that they propose to do in the Gates um, grant will actually work. So I actually grow chlorophyll deficient soybeans, so light green soybeans in the field and using how much light is inter intercepted by the canopy and how much biomass is put on by the beans over the growing season, we can calculate the conversion efficiency in the light green soybeans compared to the dark green soybeans. Our whole approach is to identify big problems um, that affect society and assemble the best and brightest, make them work in teams, form highly functional teams, and then let these teams um, address the problem. So our whole style of science is very attractive to the Gates Foundation because the Gates Foundation believes very much in interdisciplinary approaches to science. Well, without, without this private giving from the Gates Foundation, we wouldn't have this opportunity. We, we wouldn't be able to take this much further. 
We are just thrilled with, uh, with getting this grant. We think we're going to be able to do some really amazing research that will propel the field forward in agriculture and agriculture productivity, provide new solutions to big problems, and we really appreciate the uh, trust and the confidence that you have in us, and we won't let you down.